Here we are with Rose Carter. She's going to have a go at over $5,000 now. Are you ready, Rose? Yes. <laughs> okay. All right. We polled a recent studio audience, and we got their best response to this. Blank timer. Oh. Blank timer. Now, the answer they gave most often is worth $500 if you match it. If you match the next one, that's two fifty. And the third, hundred. Which celebrities would you like an assist from? Uh, Maury. Maury, how do you fill that in? Blank timer. Two-timer. Two-timer. One. Betty. Betty. Old-timer. Old-timer. And Joanne. Oh, you would have to. Joanne. I can't think of anything. Well, we'll give you a second to think. Blank-timer. I'm going to say Blank. old two-timer. <laughs> Timer. She did say it. She did say it. Okay, so you got the two timer and you got old timer. Now, as the answer uh, you give us, you may choose one of those or give us one of your own. You'll be on your own if you want to. What do you want to do? Uh, I'll take two timer. You'll take two timer? <laughs> you really want a two timer? Oh, yes. Yeah. You're going to regret that. I don't know. I have no idea what's up there. Lovely, she says. <laughs> Okay, two timers, the answer she's looking for. We'll find out if it's up there, and if so, where. First, may we see the $100 response? Two timers, it is, right off the bat. Congratulations, we have $100 for you. Well, I guess old timers got to be up there somewhere. May we see the $250 response? And timer. Old timers got to be up there somewhere. That's the one. Let's see the $500 response. Okay. Now, you've got the $100. You're going to play for ten times that amount or a thousand to collect. You've got to match one celebrity. Which one will it be? Richard. Present. You are chosen. <laughs> oh, I just dozed off. No shit. Maps, maps or models. Just face me if you would, please. Maps Here's a thousand dollar question, Richard. Okay. Blank Rogers. <laughs> Now, what answer, Rose, uh, comes to your mind in order to match Richard Dawson? Blank Rogers. Roy Rogers. Roy Rogers. Okay, Roy Rogers is her answer for $1,000. May we see yours, sir? I did write Buck Rogers. You did write Buck Rogers. But I threw it away. You threw it away. And then what happened? Then you wrote Roy Rogers. I wish I did. I wrote Ginger Rogers. Ginger Rogers. Well, if you'd boo Ginger Rogers after all those movies. <laughs> she got up so early in the morning. That's right. I'm sorry, my darling. That's okay. Listen, Ginger Rogers is good. Buck Rogers is good. Roy Rogers was good. They're all good answers. Arthur Rogers is a good Arthur is terrific. Okay. Business, cigar business. Right. She likes to get more fun once in a while. $200 is what you have now, Rose, and you also have the opportunity to meet another player right now and play another game. Here comes Ellen Loretta. champion who's won $200. How are you, Ellen? Fine, thank you. Good. What do you do and all that sort of thing? Well, I'm married to a banker, and we live in Mexico City, where we've been on foreign assignment for about two years. And I have a little boy, two and a half, who's bilingual, and um, we enjoy watching your show. We get it every day in, in Mexico City. You do? Every what, day? do they sneak it across the border? <laughs> Don't take it away from us, please. We love it. Oh, good. <laughs> I mean, I'm curious. I just didn't know about that. How did they get it down there? We have cable vision. Comes in. Oh, I yes. see. Well, good. Nice to have you here with us. Thank good luck you. to you. I'll push a button, reveal two questions in round one, and ask you, Ellen, as a challenger, to make a selection. B, please. B is what she wants, and B is what the lady with the pretty green eyes gets. Okay. Now, Yule Gibbon said... Mm. So sick of Yule Gibbon. <laughs> Do you do Yule Gibbons, George? Do I do Yule Gibbons? Why, certainly I'm Yule Gibbons. <laughs> uh, he does Yule Gibbons there. I'm getting ready, <laughs> I'm getting ready to eat the microphone and the entire table. <laughs> you don't get the bite out of my arm. Yes. Yule Gibbons said, next year, I'm planning the biggest feat of my life. I'm going to eat the entire blank. <laughs> Next year, I'm planning the biggest feat of my life. I'm going to eat the entire blank. Now, if you get this program down in Mexico City, you must get Yule Gibbons down there, yes, too. Yes, we do. Once You've in a seen, while. 
You've seen Neil Gibbons. Okay. Gibbons, right. that's Ken Thing. You're waiting for... Uh, no. no. You're all finished, and now she's all finished, and now we'll call it over. Tell it. You, Gibbon, said next year I'm planning the biggest feat of my life. I'm going to eat the entire... The entire thing. The entire thing? Uh, they're on, yes. I don't know what they have in mind. We'll find out right now what they have in mind. Which, which answer will be applauded the most is what they have in mind. Morning? <laughs> Well, if I was him, yeah. and got tired of toothpicks and all that stuff, I'd eat the whole forest. That's the answer. You going to show it to us? Yeah, he's got forest on his card. All right, Brett? There are many edible things in the forest. <laughs> One of them is the whole forest. One of them is the George? My friend, Ferris Feast would be to eat the entire forest. <laughs> You said it, Sid Bean. How about you, Joanne? Well, I think it was a very big, big forest, so I spelled it with two R's. Okay. <laughs> and what would you eat, sir? I um, would eat Forrest Tucker. Now, her answer is, uh, the biggest feat of my life, I'm going to eat the entire thing. What do you say? <laughs> What would you call the Empire State Building? Isn't that a thing? Empire State, it's a thing, all right. But it's not the entire thing. There. What? So you didn't I score with that at all, uh, Ellen, I'm sorry to say. We've got a first-round question for Rose coming up. But first, friends, we've got this message of interest for you.